Through the Eyes of a Geologist by Emily Gibson, read by Miss Mulatto. This is from the fourth grade Amplify Science unit, Earth's Features. Contents. What a Geologist Sees. Burgess Shale Formation, Canada. Burgess Shale Area in the Past. John Day Fossil Beds National Monument, Oregon. John Day Area in the Past. Capitol Reef National Park, Utah. Chinle Formation. Capitol Reef Area in the Past. Capitol Reef National Park, Utah. Monocopy Formation. Capitol Reef Area at a Different Time in the Past. Mammoth Cave National Park, Kentucky. Glossary. What a geologist sees. What does it mean to look at a place through the eyes of a geologist? This is Devil's Post Pile National Monument in California. A tourist might see this as a beautiful landscape. A hiker might notice the interesting rocks. A geologist sees those things and much more. A geologist sees the past. Landscapes can undergo big changes over time. Geologists know that different kinds of rock form in different environments. They can look at rocks and make inferences. Geologists can infer what a place may have been like in the past based on the rocks and the fossils that are there now. For example, a geologist observes that Devil's Post Pile is made of smooth, dark rock with no fossils. This is a type of volcanic rock called basalt. The geologist also observes that pieces of the rock are shaped like long, straight posts. These shapes sometimes form when lava cools and hardens. Based on these observations, a geologist might infer that a huge volcano erupted here. A lake of lava covered the ground. It happened long ago, so long that no humans were around to see it. Still, a geologist can picture it happening. In this book, we'll look at several landscapes through the eyes of a geologist. Burgess Shale Formation, Canada. The Burgess Shale Formation is a layer of rock that can be seen today in a steep mountain landscape. This layer of rock is one of the best places in the world to see fossils of soft-bodied organisms. Fossils of soft-bodied organisms are unusual. That's because hard parts are more likely to fossilize. Rocks and Fossils of the Burgess Shale Formation This smooth, dark gray stone is shale. Shale forms when sediment collects in slow-moving water. The sediment compacts and cements over time, turning to rock. This is a priapulid, worm fossil. It looks similar to worms that live in oceans today. This type of worm buries its body in the sand. It leaves its mouth sticking up, ready to grab food. This is a fossil of a claw from an animal called Anomalocrosis. This animal had two of these claws. It used them to grab food. It has lobes along the sides of its body. It could swim by waving the lobes up and down. This image shows fossilized green algae. Green algae are plant-like organisms. This algae fossil looks similar to algae living in the ocean today. Burgess Shale Area in the Past What does the Burgess Shale look like to a geologist? Based on observations, a geologist could infer that this place was once an ocean environment. Based on observations of fossils, geologists can infer Anomalocaris swam in this ocean. 
Observations of green algae fossils help geologists infer that this area must have been an ocean environment in the past. A geologist can infer that the shale rock formed when clay built up on the ocean floor. Over time, the clay compacted and cemented to form rock. The priapulid worm fossils look similar to worms found in the ocean today. Based on this, geologists infer that this was an ocean environment. John Day Fossil Beds National Monument, Oregon. This is one of the best places in the United States to see fossils of ancient mammals. Today, it is a dry environment full of colorful rocks and desert plants. Rocks and Fossils of the John Day Fossil Beds. Geologists find lots of conglomerate rock here. Conglomerate rock forms from pebbles and other sediments dropped by a fast-flowing river. Over time, the sediments compact and cement to form rock. This fossilized skull is of an animal called Patriophelis. This animal was similar to a panther. This fossilized tree stayed upright as it slowly turned to rock over time. Its wood looks similar to trees that live in warm rainforests today. This is a fossilized tortoise shell. It is still stuck in sedimentary rock. John Day area in the past. Let's look at this area through a geologist's eyes. Based on their observations of rocks and fossils, geologists infer that this place was once a rainforest with many rivers and lakes. This large cat-like animal is a Patriophelis. Because Patriophelis fossils have been found here, geologists can infer that these animals once lived in the area. Because the wood of the fossilized trees looks similar to the trees in rainforests today, geologists infer that, that the environment in this area used to be a rainforest. Conglomerate rock may have been formed where a fast-flowing river emptied into a lake. The river dropped pebbles and other sediments into the lake. Over many years, the sediments compacted and cemented to form rock. Here we have a turtle because they found a turtle fossil. I wonder if these other animals in the pictures, they have also found fossils that may look like those. Capitol Reef National Park, Utah, Chinle Formation. Utah's Capitol Reef National Park is known for its brightly colored rocks. The layers marked in the picture are called the Chinle Formation. Many interesting rocks and fossils are found there. Rocks and fossils of the Chinle Formation. This area of Capitol Reef has a lot of siltstone. This kind of siltstone often forms in slow-moving, shallow water. This is fossilized wood of a tree that lived millions of years ago. The wood of the tree is similar to trees that live in swampy areas today. Fossil bones of animals called Phytosaurus have been found in this rock layer. This image shows a complete fossil skeleton that scientists put together. Capitol Reef area in the past. What does Capitol Reef look like to a geologist? Based on their observations, geologists infer that this place was once a swampy floodplain. Because the wood of the fossilized trees look similar to trees in swampy areas today, geologists can infer 
that the environment in this area used to be a swampy floodplain. Because they have found fossil bones of Phytosauruses, geologists can infer that Phytosaurus lived here. Geologists know that siltstone forms in slow-moving shallow water. Observing siltstone in this area helps geologists infer that it used to be a swampy floodplain. Capitol Reef National Park, Utah, Moen Copy Formation. So the other one was right here. Now we're looking at another layer in the same area. Many different rock layers are visible in Capitol Reef National Park. The red layer marked in the picture is called the Moen Copy Formation. It has rocks and fossils that are different from those in the Chinle Formation above it. Rocks and fossils of the Moen Copy Formation. This is sandstone. Sandstone forms when sand compacts and cements to form rock. This sandstone has marks that look like ripples of water. These are the fossilized footprints of animals that lived in this place long ago. Capital Reef area at a different time in the past. We see different rock layers in Capital Reef. Based on this, geologists can infer that there must have been different types of environments here at different times. By observing the rocks and fossils found in the Moen Copy Formation, geologists can make inferences about what this area was like at a different time in the past. They can infer that this was once a beach. At high tide, the beach was covered with water. The fossilized footprints look similar to the tracks left by lizards today. Based on this, geologists infer that lizard-like animals walked on this beach. A geologist infers that the sandstone formed from sand building up on a beach. Ripple marks show where water flowed. Mammoth Cave National Park, Kentucky. Mammoth Cave is the largest underground cave system in the world. People call the cave Mammoth because it is so big. Tourists come to Mammoth Cave to see its beautiful rock shapes. Many people are surprised to learn that the cave is also full of fossils. Rocks and Fossils of Mammoth Cave The walls of Mammoth Cave are made of limestone. Limestone forms when sediment compacts and cements in an ocean environment. This is a fossilized shark tooth. Geologists have found many fossils like this one in the walls of Mammoth Cave. This is the fossil of some ancient coral. It looks similar to the corals that make up coral reefs in the ocean today. Based on your observations, what inferences would you make about the environment of Mammoth Cave long ago? Can you see this place through the eyes of a geologist? Glossary. Cement. To stick together in the process of forming rock. Compact. To press together. Environment. All of the living and non-living things in an area. Floodplain. Flat land around a river that gets flooded sometimes. Fossil. A clue about life from the past that is preserved in rock. Geologist. A scientist who studies the processes and materials that form the solid part of earth. Infer, to figure something out based on observations and what you already know. Inference, something you figure out based on observations and what you already know.
Observation, something you notice using any of the five senses. Observe, to use any of the five senses to gather information about something. Rock layer, a thick sheet of rock formed from the same material. Sediment, small pieces of rock such as silt or sand. Volcanic rock, a type of rock that forms when lava cools.